everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a toy tour of our playroom. I'll be showing you all the toys that we have out on the shelf this month. I'll also be showing you some of the decor along the way. So just hit that like button and support my channel. Make sure you're subscribed and check out my other videos when you're all done with this one. Everything will be linked down below. So go check that out. Let's get into Let's it. Let's start off with these shelves. Sorry, you're gonna see my light reflection here. So first off, I do have these wall decals linked down below. They are removable wall decals. I always get questions on them and they were so easy to apply. So don't be nervous about them. These always show up at Michael's at Easter and Christmas time. And then I also have this print, which is a printable on Etsy linked in my description box as well. These are Ikea Calyx shells and I do have the Ikea Calyx inserts for them. So I'd usually do keep Holtz Tiger wooden animals located up here. I have a few different sets. So whatever we're not using at that time will be up here. And I also have some Grimm's little rainbow and fire up here, the elements. This right here, this is by Playzone Fit, and these are their sensory stones. So you can use them on the floor, you can put paper on top of them and kind of scribble over top to make a cool pattern. My kids really love these. They love putting their cars on them, of course. I always display a couple special books on these shelves, and this one is really special because one, it's beautiful, and the second is that my kids are a little bit afraid of bees right now. It's become a whole thing, so this is a great book to help go through with them. This is by Learning Resources. So it's almost like a shape sorter. So the bottoms have shapes. You have square, triangle, and circle. You have numbers, and then you can stack these barrels up as well, which is really, really fun. They love that. I love green toys so much. Love everything about them. I have them inside. I have them outside. So durable. And my kids have always loved this little airplane, especially since we have a lot of airplanes that go over our house. So we can talk about that. I always have lots of puzzles displayed. So I have a few extra here in this bamboo dish rack. And these are mesh file folders that I always have linked. These ones came from the Dollarama here in Canada but um, you can get them for just as cheap on Amazon as well, even cheaper in some ways. I always store our Pickler Triangle here sideways along with the ramp, the ramp's in use right now, but I always store it right here. I have this rainbow Pickler Triangle from Lillian River. My son is two and a half and he still loves it. He'll probably be up next time he comes downstairs because he'll want it up right away. I have a mirror here. I've had this here ever since uh, I started this playroom. And this is just from Home Depot. It's just like a cheap one. And I put it in line kind of with the toys so that when they're playing, they can kind of look over and see themselves in the mirror. And they've always really enjoyed it being there. Down here, I have Ikea Rhizotorp baskets. I always get asked about these baskets and I love them since they're low. So they're easy for the kids to see what's inside as well as see through. And they have these beautiful wooden handles. So I'm definitely gonna grab some more of these. I'm doing a trip to Ikea soon. These here, these are almost like a knockoff of squigs, if you've seen those before, but this one is actually a bath toy, which I thought was really, really cool. So check these out because they are so, like we're like half the price of the other brand. And these ones are meant to go in the bath, but today we have them down here. And I think I have more floating around. The kids have been playing down here today. So not everything's in order. Like I know a few of these are missing right now. I know exactly where they are too, but oh well. So these are magnets. So they have the inside that you can put onto the back of the dinosaur. It is a magnet and then the front of the dinosaur. So they can do color matching or they can create their own little creature, which I thought was really cool. This is a wee baby Stella. So this is just a soft doll that we've had for a long time. And there's a magnet in the pacifier. So it's just a magnet straight on. She also has a bottle too, which again, I think it's over on the other side of the room which is a magnet so they can feed the baby and a wonderful little teddy bear. I do have two little boys and they do play with dolls. It's extremely important to that they do. And this is just full of cars and Hot Wheels. They love cars, they love lining them up 
creating little roads, especially on this rainbow rug. They love using these as little roads. So we have to have lots of cards out at all times. So up here I have one of the Ikea Calyx inserts again, and I have a lot of different puzzles. So this is a reversible puzzle by Love Every. Love Every is literally the best. It saved me so many times. I have this one by Love Every. These Melissa and Doug puzzles are super simple, but my kids have both loved them. And this actually taught my oldest son all of his letters and all of his letter sounds. So I have the capital letters, the uppercase and lowercase, and they're really cheap, but my kids both love them. We have a Melissa and Doug sound puzzle, all the instruments. What else do we have? This is another Love Every which is awesome. It has all the different layers that you can use. And then I also have a name puzzle for my youngest son, which I got for his first birthday to display in his room when he's all done with it. And it's rainbow color. I just did a giveaway with Love Every, so I have a lot of their stuff out right now because I had to take a picture, but this little stacker is so cool. So this one spins. This one here, you have to make sure that you get it on the right way. And same with this one. You have to make sure that you don't put it on so the square doesn't line up, it has to go this way. Another Love Every product from their Love Every Play Kits. I get questions about these tubes a lot. These are color mixing tubes. So it's great for talking about how when you mix red and blue, what color it makes, it makes purple. Or you're mixing yellow and red, what color does it make? It makes orange. So this has been super fun for my kids to do and us to talk about. Right here I have a bowling set. My two and a half year old loves this little set. He loves setting these up and throwing the ball at it. We have a Love Every lockbox from the Love Every Play Kits. And another Love Every sliding toy where you stick the circle in and it slides out the bottom, which is so fun. Hidden in this corner is a crawl through tube. This is from Ikea. It is one of the best ones that I've found and most durable and most comfortable for the kids to crawl through. I really like the fabric on it. It's really easy to clean and the inside is soft where I find some of them is metal on the inside and I just don't find it very comfortable. I've made a few posts about this top tube and all it is is a tube for cars and balls. So you can grab a car here you put it through the top and go right down the bottom. I know it's kind of crazy that I purchased this, but I love it because it comes apart so it can go down small. You can take it to other people's houses and it lasts a lot longer than a, like something from wrapping paper that you just throw away. So I really like this top tube. So let's take a look at this wall. I have this Ikea shelf and up here, I just have a few items on display. And if they want any of these items, I just get them down for them, but they are more items that are out of rotation right now. I have this Oyster and Pop rainbow clock, which is really great for teaching time. I'll link that down below. And then here I have an Ikea house here, a house shelf, and this is screwed into the wall. So this shelf doesn't have to be here if I wanted to move it. And I have some Love Every products here a lot talking about feelings. So I have some, some of their books talking about feelings. And then these are their little feelings, I guess, peg people. So each one is a different emotion. And then my two and a half year old loves this little flashlight. So he loves that so much. It's super easy to use and the button's very easy to push. This shelf here is actually from Guide Craft. This is a whole Love Every kit as well. So it comes with this little house and a slide and everything configures. So this can sit on top. We have a lock here that they can use the keys for. We got the stairs they can use however they want, a little bed and a little car. And then this is the Love Every block set down here, which is like a 10 in one toy. You have shape sorter lacing toy, um, you can put little wheels on it, magnets, has peg people, has everything you're gonna need. And it replaces so many toys, at least five toys that I've purchased that after I saw this, I was like, shoot, I should just get that love every block set. I'm gonna save myself a lot of money. I talked about this Melissa and Doug vacuum once and people absolutely loved it so much. So it collects all these little pieces on the bottom. So let's throw them onto the carpet and I'll show you what I mean. And underneath it has this little wheel that picks everything up. This Mickey print is from the Disney collection at Minted and I'll link that down below. 
These are from Guidecraft. I showed those in the last video. They're shape sorters. They're number counting as well as colors. So in this one, there's one horse. And then you can see like in this one, there's two cows. So they count it and you can see the color as well. So I really love these little houses. And then our Ikea play kitchen. We have a lot of Melissa and Doug products here. So like the Melissa and Doug coffee machine. Uh, these are just blocks that are out of rotation right now. So I just stacked them in the back. A lot of people ask me that too. Like, what'd you do with a backsplash? Those are just blocks. Melissa and Doug cookies. I love these Melissa and Doug wooden pots and pans. I would buy them again and again. They've been my favorite. This is all our food that can be cut. So a lot of Melissa and Doug in there. I'll link everything down below. There's a Velcro cake. And then we have some more appliances. I have a toaster. And then here is all of our play food and little plates, little eggs and stuff. And this is just a cheap little drawer set from Ikea. It's metal and I think it was only like $15. So perfect for me. So let's go to the other side of the room. A lot of people don't realize that this is actually my basement. So I have a small basement window here and I have a register here for heat. So not much going on there. And then I have my beautiful map that was given to us by Enjoy the Wood. They are a Ukrainian brand who have been greatly affected. So definitely if you love this, go support them. They have smaller sizes that would be perfect for like an entryway or for a bedroom. And they have tons of different colors. The Nugget Play Couch. And then this is my Lillian River slide from the Pickler Triangle. So sometimes we just put it on top of the play couch and they slide down. You're gonna see my lights because it's kind of dark down here right now. This is the little dome that was given to us by Lillian River. It's an amazing climbing dome and it's all made of wood and it has been such a big hit. We put blankets on top of it and turn it into a fort. My two and a half year old and four year old both are climbing it. It's the perfect height for them. And then up above, I do have that hook that you guys have seen before for our swing but since i have the little dome down there i don't have the swing up at this time this holds about 200 pounds so as we're moving over here we have the guide craft art and craft table i have some picture hanging shelves behind just to put some random things on that we're working on and then it does have the paper roll that comes up through here slides underneath and then goes across and is held here. So it's perfect for art. This actually my kids were playing with today. This is by Schleich. My four-year-old is obsessed with a little Schleich play sets. He loves doing pretend play with those. So that's the tree house. On the side of this, I also have a few toys that we just bring out when we're all together. So I have the Humiku stacking rock blocks. I have some Flockman, and then this is a puzzle by Guidecraft. And then in here, I have these animal coins from Lily and River, and those ones are all farm animals. And then down here, I have a puzzle, a four-in-one puzzle. So it's so great for both of my kids to do. My two and a half year old is already doing that. And then I have a design and drill kit here as well. If you love design and drill, I have a lot of their vehicles, but this one here is all about letters. So it has all the letter cards and it has a real working drill so that they're able to drill those in and trace the letter. There's also a screwdriver too. So if you don't want to use the electric drill, you can also use the little screwdriver. In my last video, I didn't have this section done yet, but it is all done. I have these picture hanging shelves from Amazon here, and I kind of did a rainbow order. I understand my kids can't you know, reach the top ones. I get asked that a lot, but I'm always here with them, and I can always get books down from them. This rainbow is from Chasing Rainbows. She makes such beautiful rainbows. I'm so happy I have this one. And then these beautiful photos are from Lorna Freytag on Instagram. So I'll make sure to link that down below. This is an Ikea hanger here, of course, for like hats and stuff like that, but I'm using it to hang a lot of different things. So these are called Wiggle Walkers by Plays on Fit. So they will put their feet on them and hold the tops to walk. And then the bottoms are very soft. These are some Sarah's Silks. So these are so, super great for, you know, making oceans or using them as capes or using them as grass. They just love to play with those. These capes are new. These are from Learning Resources. 
These can be used at home or for teachers. So they're kind of like reward capes, I guess. So each one is different. So this one's caring. This one is kindness. We have Bravery. I have two others that are upstairs. My kids love these. They're actually super comfortable to put on. Very soft and I love that they have the different words on them. And then this is a swoop bag. This is the small size, but they are perfect for storing things like Lego. That's what it looks like open. This is the only storage bag for toys that has the high sides. So it kind of makes it more like a basket. And I've tried other ones and I definitely prefer this style the most. And I prefer this fabric that she uses. So I've tried other brands. This is the best one out there. So if you're going to go for one of these bags, they have huge ones, go check them out because this one is the best one for your money. A Tonka dump truck from Costco. And then this is by Bruder Toys. So they make a lot of different trucks and vehicles. They are quite expensive. It was a gift. And then I have a nugget play couch here as well with our awesome striped wall and play mat. And then here I have the step two basketball net. So this was a Christmas gift for my two year old and he absolutely loves it. We're probably gonna take it outside here soon too so we can use it during the summer. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you'd like me to do these little rotations and tours every month so you can see what is new in our playroom each month, I would be happy to do so. And make sure you check the link down below. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.